Hi, this tutorial is about the issue that you are logging into XFCE standard. Also, Arch Merge is installed. You boot into X XFCE. You went and went into open box and said, oh, okay, nice, interesting. Uh, I went into i3, mm-hmm, okay. And then you decide and you say, okay, let me auto log in, but not in XFCE. Now I want to auto log in into open box or into i3. How do I do that? Starting from XFC, because that's the standard application, the standard desktop environment on Arch Merge when you install it, you go to the file manager. And the file manager is this little icon. I put it up here because it's going to be useful. And my Vivaldi is going to be here, like so. These two things, you need it all the time. Then you go to the file system. Remember that it's light. DM, it's a light desktop manager, light DM, light DM conf, and make sure that you open it with sublime text because that's um, a powerful tool. You'll see in a bit why. If I edit this line, auto login session XFCE, and change that one to open box, then from the rest of the year, we'll be putting into open box. And as you saw, there was this pop up. Because we are writing in a protected part of the system, uh, Sublime Text gives you the choice. Are you an admin? Are you a root? Okay, gives you a password and it's now changed. And next time I'll boot, it, it will work. If you do this with another program, there's other programs like Genie, and you type anything and you try to save, it says, I can't save there. That's not possible. So remember, Sublime Text is the good way to go. It will save and protect the parts that will pop up and you tell them what the password is. Let's reboot out of the system. Normally we boot into XFCE. Now it should boot into Openbox we've chosen. And there we are. From now on till the end of the days we'll boot into Openbox. If we want to change that, we have a menu in open box here. There are menus, these menus here, you can change. These menus here are all manual changeable menus. These are automated. So we have made for you a nice little button here, login settings. What does it do? It goes to the same file, etc lightm.conf with genie as sudo meaning as administrator, only thing you have to do is give him the password. And then indeed here you can change again to i3, save, no error this time because we launched Genie, the program, the editor as administrator. And then we can log off again, right mouse click, exit open box, uh, restart better than log off. And it should restart an I as an i3 desktop environment. And it's going to rem remember that again until you change it. This is i3. It remembers what I've done in the previous tutorial, as you can see. And again, here we can go and look for a file and change it back to XFCE. So etc lightdm is here. I do this this way because I already saw this is not Sublime Text. What application is this? This is Genie. And you saw what problems I had. I can type whatever I want. Saving is not possible. So I'm quitting here. I say, okay, stop with this one. Don't save it. And with now a blank a screen, a workspace, I double click here. Watch out, the two is becoming red here. And indeed, this is not Genie. This is Sublime Text and I change i3 back into xfce, save, give my password, let's windows x, escape, and let's restart, which is reboot, and let's see if we end back into xfce, and then the circle is round, we've seen everything, and we only need to do it once, because now I, I'm do, doing three things at the same time, but just change it once and then it, you're set for a couple of months. 
If you want to just quickly have a look, still possible, just log out. That's always possible. Log out and go up here and choose whatever you want to see, but it's only for those that want to auto log on in one test environment for the coming months. Then it's interesting to change that there. All right. Cheers.